So today I'm going to show you the doxy flip from a parent. Now, in the mobile world of stuff, we usually have mobile printers that we use more often, but on occasion we might want to have a mobile scanner. And this is an interesting take on it because this is a flatbed scanner. Most of the ones that we find are actually just normal little sheet feed things, but no, this is actually a flatbed. It's smaller than a traditional flatbed, and but it's useful if you want to try to get some images or things like that and go in. There is a creative feature about this flatbed scanner that I'll show you when we get to it. Now this is the box that it comes in, but it's already been unboxed. I've tried it out a couple times, so I'll put it aside and bring the actual doxy flip right there. Now in the box it does come with a manual. And they do kind of care about the environment because it's made of recycled materials. You get a USB to SD card reader adapter. So, which obviously means that the Doxy Flip uses SD card removable memory. The slot's right on the side here. And they supply a 4 gigabyte SD card. And that's good for holding about 2,000 images, depending on the scanner resolution that you choose to use. And it does come with four AA batteries pre-installed, so that's what provides you the portable power to operate it. You can use rechargeables in it. They say you will use rechargeables if you want to. And according to people, it's probably a good idea because they say the scanner will go through the batteries, especially if you use it a lot. So that's something to keep in mind. Now looking at the Doxy Flip itself, again, it's smaller than a traditional flatbed. We open it up, and then there's your scanner bed, and you got the cover here, and again, you can see through there to the other side, and again, that's one of the special features, we'll look at that. And going over the unit, again, this is where your scanner is, you've got a small screen here to see where things are, we'll be looking at that, and then we've got keys here to operate the menu and various functions. On the side, again, is where we'll find that SD card slot. We have an on-off switch here, and then this is our main scan button. And that, there's nothing really else on it going on to the bottom, though. This is where our four AA batteries are put in. But then, as you see, there's a window on the bottom of the scanner here that goes through to the other side on the, of the other glass, so you can see through it. The reason for this is because the cover can be taken off. You can take off the cover and put this on an object that you want to scan. Maybe it's a book or something, or maybe even something on a wall. You can scan it, holding it up to it, and just take the cover off, and you look through there to line it up. Press the scan button, and you can scan pretty much anything that you can put this up against. So That's the unique feature about the Doxy Flip. It's powered on. There's a side here. Push up till it comes on. Okay. Now we're in the menu. I'm going to zoom in here to show how the menu works. So when you're in the menu, you can use different keys to access different functions. If you press up, you can access your configuration panel. And there's two resolution modes. There's 300 dots per inch and there's 600 dots per inch. Right now, you can see I've got it on 600. I can put it on 300. And then below that is our sleep timer. One, two, or ten minutes before it automatically powers off. Now, being that there's only two scan resolutions, you know, a higher resolution takes longer and it takes more disk space, but it gives you a higher quality image. And then, conversely, it's true for 300. Less disk space, faster, but less quality. Now, if you're scanning a lot of text, you're probably okay with 300 DPI. If you're scanning a lot of images, you probably want to use 600. And pressing all the way back up will get you out of the menu, but also if you go to the menu and then over one, you can access a small help section. Now, of course, you can read the manual, a couple of other things like that, but then you can go over to the information menu and scroll down to like seeing different scanning types, you know, dealing with scanning notebooks and things like that where you kind of do each at a time, you just hit the OK, 
and I can give you kind of a short detail on how to go about doing that. Because the DoxyFlip software that you can download on your computer will allow you to stitch images together as you scan multiple pages like out of a book or something. So if it doesn't all fit on the scanner bed, you can scan sections in the software. We'll stitch it all together for you. But let me zoom out and find a test object to scan. I guess in this case what I will do is I'll just take a scanned image of the DoxyFlip booklet. And it's got a little ridge right here in the on the cover, that's where we lined it up. And it does give you indications about orientation. So whichever way you lay it is how it will scan. So since I'm laying it lengthwise, I'm doing it that way. And that, put the cover down. It's actually popped it out. Which is there. Right down. And all we do is just simply hit the scan button on the side. Now it's scanning it at 600 dpi. And we can see the live preview as it's scanning. Okay, it's done. Pull it out, put this back down. And look at our image. Of course, I accidentally just hit the scan button again. <laughs> so. And that's actually something I need to point out. You cannot cancel a scan. See? I cannot cancel the scan on there. So I ended up just scanning a blank. Accidentally hitting the button. That's something you gotta be careful about when you're using this, especially with the other mode. Now, say for instance there's something on a book or a wall or something like that you need to scan. You just lift up the cover and release it it off. So now when I want to scan something, I just turn it over and hit the scan button. I'll find an example here. Let's see. I think what I'll try and do is scan the image of the doxy flip off the box onto the scanner. What I'm gonna do is line up the scanner glass best I can with it here. And I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to hit the scan button. And now I can see what I'm scanning, but it's scanning this surface because it's turned upside down. So again, it's an advantage of this portable flatbed is you can scan practically anything that you can, whether it be directly on the flatbed or up against something like this if it's a larger object. Pull it out. And there it is. It's upside down on it, but get a scan image. And if we want to review images, we can just simply go back to the menu and zoom in again. And you can use the left or right keys. So left or right keys, I can see images that I've previously scanned. And of course, there's some here that I've scanned with it earlier. I can review them all. But one of the things to keep in mind though is all you can do is scan and review images on the doxy flip. You cannot do any kind of editing. So if you want to delete an image or edit it or any any way, you're gonna to have to put the SD card into a computer. That's the only way you're gonna be able to delete any images or edit them. So just keep that in mind. It, all it does is primarily scan and review what you've scanned and set the DPI what you want. That's about it. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this. So again, that is the Doxy Flip Portable Flatbed Scanner from a parent.